The opportunity that floating offshore wind brings to Cornwall, um, I, th I think is, is basically twofold. We're incredibly well geographically positioned. Strategically, we couldn't be anywhere better. But also, I think we have got the skills and capabilities here to answer many of the industrialization questions, which puts us in a fantastic position to capture a large chunk of the uh, UK market, but also into the future, uh, exports into what is going to be one of the largest global energy markets that we've seen in recent times. The opportunities, if we're successful, are huge. Our aim is to get three gigawatts of floating offshore wind installed by 2030, and that would require £10 billion of inward investment uh, and would create at least 3,500 jobs. It would also position us perfectly to be a world leader in floating offshore wind and export around the world. So a core part of Cornish Lithium's ethos really is sustainability and we want to produce these minerals that are going to enable the energy transition as responsibly as we possibly can. Lithium's really important because it's an element that's really going to help us enable this energy transition. If we want to move away from an economy that's based on fossil fuels and we want to have renewable energy and we want to have electric cars, then battery technology is so important to that energy transition. Having a domestic supply of lithium will give us a strategic advantage and help governments meet its ambitious target of building back better. Since 2016, British Lithium have been developing our LSEP technology, which is sustainable, carbon-free, and produces battery-grade lithium carbonate. Further, we can run our entire process off the grid using renewable power. Again, a world first. The opportunity for tech metal mining in Cornwall is really significant. Tin is the forgotten foot soldier of the high-tech world. Everything that we need for a low-carbon economy requires tin and that's why it's absolutely critical if we're serious about climate change. Cornwall has a couple of incredible assets in terms of the, the space sector. We've got Dean Hilly here and, and all of the infrastructure and now with the horizontal space port at Newquay. Th these are two key assets in terms of space sector, being able to launch spacecraft into space uh, and to be able to communicate with them. Spaceport Cornwall is a consortium. It's made up of Cornwall Council, Virgin Orbit and Goon Hilly Air Station to provide the UK its first ever horizontal launch spaceport. What we're really excited about is the opportunity to grow a space cluster here in Cornwall based around launch technologies, satellite infrastructure and environmental intelligence from space. And with that brings all the skills and talent base that we need to really look at the R&D and innovation behind satellites and what they can do to help benefit life on Earth. So pure methane is one of the best fuels you can have for a combustion engine. And you know, the fact that we're capturing a gas which is actually really polluting, turning it into a fuel, it gives us a negative carbon footprint and it gives us a really short-term lift in terms of climate repair. So Cornwall has some really incredible geology. Um, we have granite under a lot of our feet and this granite is naturally heat producing. And geothermal energy is renewable, it's low carbon, it's available 24-7 and it actually has a much lower footprint than a lot of other renewable energy sources. This is the first phase of a two-phase project. So at the moment we're just drilling one well four and a half kilometres down to see what's there. Then the second phase will be to drill a second well and set up a circulation between them. And once we've done that, the whole of the Eden project will be better than carbon neutral and that we'll be supplying enough electricity for about 7,000 houses. So Geothermal Engineering has a number of projects lined up across Cornwall uh, once the United Down site has been successfully completed. And these projects will go towards the Cornwall Council's aim of becoming net carbon neutral by 2030.